back with another video. It's your girl, Drea. If you didn't know, then what? Let them know. Now you know. All right, so for today's video, oh, hold up. Hold up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and join the gang because we about to spill some tea. Everybody likes tea, right? About to spill some tea. All right, y'all, so we finna get right into this video. I'm about to expose myself a little bit to y'all. Everybody likes some exposure here now and then, you know? And I don't got two phones right now, so again, I'm gonna be reading it off the paper. I got some questions for y'all. Well, not even for y'all. I, I got some questions I'm gonna answer. Um, and yeah, we are gonna get right into it. <laughs> It's like, now let me stop, but let's get into these questions. We're gonna start off a little easy. We're gonna start off a little easy. First question is, who was your first celebrity crush? Um, I, when, like, when I hear this question, Trey songs automatically pop up. He was definitely my celebrity crush, but my first, I believe it was either Omarion or Kelly from B5. If y'all remember B5, then y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Kelly with his fine ass. He was a light-skinned one with the braids. They were all fine, though. But Kelly, he was just so fine to me back then. Um, but now that I'm older, I think Justin's the finest. But yeah, it definitely was Kelly, Amarion, and Trey Songz. I'm going to say them three because I don't know if Kelly or Amarion came first. But yeah. Um, let me see. Would you rather be single or in a relationship? Fuck these niggas. It's like, <laughs> um, I'd rather be in a relationship. I'm a love type of person. I love love. I love like being with somebody. I hate being lonely. I hate being single. That's just not me. I mean, I don't just be with anybody because I don't want to be lonely, but I'd rather be in a relationship than be single. If you'd rather be single than be in a relationship, more power to you. Because girl or boy or whatever you are, I don't know how you do it. Because I got to have somebody up under me or I got to be up underneath of somebody. Um, Let me see. Number three. Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? I actually did have a crush on a teacher. Um, uh, I remember his name was Mr. Pender. Well... I'm saying was, like he passed away. I don't know. I know I was in elementary though and all the girls used to like, huh, over him because he was just so fine to be, like he was a gym teacher. Mr. Pender, elementary school, he was a gym teacher. He was a gym teacher. And he was just so fine. Like, obviously I didn't say fine back then because I was in elementary, but he was just, I was like, he's so cute. Like all the girls used to like drool over him. Number four. Um, how old were you when you experienced your first time? How old y'all think I was? That's what I'm going to ask y'all. How old y'all think it was? I'm going to give y'all 10 seconds to write down in the comments how old y'all think I was. And don't try to play me. Well, I mean, how old y'all think I was? Do, 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 do. All right, fuck it. I was 14. Don't be like me. I really wish I waited either until I was older or until I found that one, even though you might think it's the one, but you know, but I was 14. Don't be like me, be older, you know, it's the past. Um, all right, number five, y'all see I got comfortable, I got that leg up, but number five, have you ever had a secret crush on your friend's partner? Did you act on it? No, I ain't never had no crush on my friend's partner. I wouldn't act on it even if I did. I'm not, I don't even know why I'm saying even if I did, because that would never happen. For one, me and my friends, like my best friends, we don't even have the same like type of men. Um, nah, I ain't never had no crush on my friend's partner. But um, it happened to me. If y'all want that as a story time, I'll do that as a story time later on in life. But it happened to me. And it's not a good feeling, y'all. So if y'all out there and y'all got crushes on your man's or your girl's uh, significant other, like your friend's significant other, cut that shit out. That's not, that's not cool. You're not supposed to do that. Like, 
I mean, you can do what you want, but that's not right. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be a bad influence. Don't don't want something that your friend got. Like, why would you why would you want something your friend got? Why? Why? No. Don't do that. I've never done it. Be like me when it comes to that. I ain't never done that shit. And it is a little sensitive because like I said, that's it happened to me. Do you want a story time? I got you later on in life. Later on down the road. Um, number six, is this number six? Who's keeping up with me? Is this number six? I believe so. Um, what's the most embarrassing thing your parents have caught you doing? All right, so it wasn't necessarily my parents. It was really my grandmother. So we was living in like Rock Hall. Then if y'all don't know who, where that's at, I don't think, but we was living in Rock Hall. And I was with someone at the time. Um, I was in high school, though. And, like, it was late night, probably, like, 12, 1 o'clock. I don't know. I was with somebody. I was in high school, maybe ninth or 10th grade. I don't know. I was in high school, though. And I was on the phone with my boyfriend. And uh, allergies. And, uh, you know, yeah, me and my boyfriend was on the phone talking. It was late night. Everybody was asleep. And, um, you know, we had a little phone fun. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to call it phone fun. And uh, my grandmother, she gets up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom a lot. And I guess she was hearing some stuff. <laughs> Mind you, where she was sleeping at, my room was right next door, like right next to it. So I guess as she was walking to the bathroom, because she, she had to walk past my room to get to the bathroom, I guess she was hearing some some noises or something. I don't know, <laughs> but she came in my room and mind you, it was still pitch dark. I was still on the phone. She came in my room. She um, yanked the blanket off of me. Not even really yanked. She just pulled the covers off of me and she felt like on the side of me to see if I was wearing clothes. And girl, no, I was butterball naked. But if y'all know, if y'all know what phone fun is and y'all y'all get the gist of what I was doing and I got caught. And she was just so shocked and surprised. She like raced out my room and was like, Keisha, Keisha. Like she woke up my mom and told her what happened, whatever. Um, I got punished, but I didn't get punished. Like my mom was supposed to punish me. I was supposed to be punished for a while. I was punished for like a week, maybe two max. It wasn't that long like it was supposed to be. But yeah, y'all. I think that was the most embarrassing thing for the fact that I was young and... That's embarrassing, you know? Your grandmother walking in on you having phone fun? Like, nah. <laughs> nah. All right, number seven? I don't know, y'all. I'm not even gonna keep counting no more. Um, the next question is, have you ever snuck out the house? Who hasn't snuck out the house, to be honest? Who hasn't? Um, I snuck out the house, I say a lot of times, but... When I snuck out the house, it was like still still near my house, so I didn't really go anywhere. Besides this one time I snuck out the house because my mom was like, she, I guess she just got tired of me telling me to like clean my room or whatever. So she apparently kicked me out of my room and I wasn't going for it. So I called my friend up. I was like, come and get me. <laughs> Mind you, I believe... I don't think I was in school. If I was in school, it was during the summertime because when I left, I uh, didn't come back till like four days later, three, four days later. But yeah, I ran away with my friend because my mom pissed me off since she supposedly kicked me out my room. But other than that, yeah, I don't really, when I, when I did used to sneak out the house, I ain't never going nowhere. I was just literally right outside the house. Um, next question. Have you ever dated someone you met online? I sure enough have. Once again, who hasn't? Well, if you haven't, congrats to you. But I definitely have. Um, the relationship I'm in now, I met him online. <laughs> Shout out to Facebook. Met him online, and uh, we're going. We're doing good. So, hey, better than these little ninjas around here, you know. Um. Yeah, if you don't like little the boys or the girls you mess away in your little town or whatever, yeah, go on, go online. Find well, I didn't find him. He came to me for real. But yeah, 
don't don't let that internet dating like scare you because it, it's definitely something to it um next question do you smoke or drink or both <laughs> me if y'all if y'all know me y'all know i'm a certified pothead like i smoke like a chimney Drinking, I don't really drink. I barely, like, I can't even say occasionally because it ain't that either, really. I don't really like drinking because I don't like the feeling of being, like, hungover. I don't like the feeling when you're too fucking... I'll be too drunk. I don't like being too drunk. I don't like the feeling. Um, And when I drink, I have to, like, chug it or I have to take a shot. It's just too much. I don't like drinking. I'll get sick. I definitely get sick. Like, it's like I can't even drink no more. I, the last time I drank was for my birthday in February. My best friend had took me to Sugar Factory. And, you know, the little big drinks that, you know, smoke out and stuff. Yeah, I chugged that down. Soon I got up. I got sick all over the place. Like, drinking ain't for me. If drinking is for you, that's cool. I ain't no drinker. I ain't. I can't do both. So, um, I'm a certified smoker. Uh... What is something you would do if there was no consequences? Consequences. Ooh. I act like I didn't say that word right. Um, what would I do? Definitely, I would probably rob a rob a bank for sure. Uh, rob a bank. <laughs> Don't judge me for this, but I definitely would run people over in my car. No cap, because people get on my nerves and. I just be wanting to run them over my car, for real. I, like, sorry if that's rude or ignorant or whatever, but that's just what it is. Like, run you right over. Next question. Have you ever had intercourse on a beach? No, I have not. No, I have not. But I want to. And I'm going to. Well, I don't know if I'm going to, but I want to. So hopefully me and my man, you know, do a little something, something this year this summer on the beach no i ain't talking about like during the day or whatever it's obviously i want it to be nighttime like or at least dark i ain't doing no shit no daylight mm. unless we got our own little section or like a banner or something like that i don't know but yeah i definitely want to um next question what's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you now, the question before was, what was the most embarrassing thing your parents, like, caught you doing or whatever? The most embarrassing thing I think that ever that has ever happened to me was me getting catfished. Like, yes, I got catfished way before the show came out. Like, when that show came out, I said, that's me, that's me, you know? I should have been on that show. But yeah, y'all, I was catfished. Um, it's cool. That was in like 2006. If y'all want a story time on that too, let me know down below. Cause I'll definitely get that to y'all ASAP. Uh, yeah, my ass was catfish. And the only reason like I was really embarrassed from it is because I was telling people like, no, no, no. People was telling me stuff and I was just like, no, no, no. And then, you know. So yeah, like I said, if y'all want a story time or not, let me know and I'll do it for y'all. Um, let me see. Would you tattoo your partner's name? I sure would. I sure do got my partner's tattoo name tattoo. I don't know if you can see, but right there it says Derod. Um, I actually wanted this bigger, but I don't know why I got it this size to be honest. But I want his name bigger. I'm going to get it again. I don't know where. And y'all can judge me if y'all want. Because when I seen Chris Sean, well, when I seen Norali and Chris Sean doing that, you know, face tattoos and shit, I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be me. Because I'm that dumb who would get her nigga, you know, face tattooed on her. That's me. I don't care. Like, I want to show the world who my man is. Like, I just want the world to know. So if I'm dumb, hey. Now, I ain't say I was going to get it. But I'm saying I would, like... I would get it. I don't know if I would get it on my forehead and stuff like Neurali got, but like a side profile, maybe. I'm not saying I would get it because 
I already talked to him about that. He don't want me to get like his face on my face, but fuck what you say. <laughs> um, how do you feel about polygamy? Girl, I don't fuck with no polygamy. I'm not sharing my man with no other female. No other like dude, nothing. I ain't sharing my man. I'm not, I'm not, no. That ain't for me. If that's for you, congrats, girl, boy, whatever. But polygamy is not for me. I can't share. I can't do that. I can't, I can't, y'all. Like, how can y'all, like, people in polygamy relationships, how can y'all, I really legit want y'all to explain to me how do y'all do that? I mean, yeah, it's probably easy if all three of y'all like fucking with each other. But no, I can't share my significant other, y'all. Like, I can't. I want him all to myself, <laughs> you know? So, like, listen, that ain't floating my boat. But if it floats your boat, hey, do whatever works for you. But don't bring that shit over here. Um, have you ever been skinny dipping? Uh, no, I have not been skinny dipping. Um... I've always wanted to go skinny, skinny dipping, so I might do that again this summer. Well, I said again like I did it before. I might do that this summer along with the intercourse on the beach. I don't know. You never know. And last but not least, a little easy question. Have you ever received or gave a hickey? Both. I used to love doing both. I used to love giving them. I used to love receiving them. Haven't done that in years, though, literally. I haven't had a hickey or given one in so long. So, so, so long. I don't even... Is hickeys even a thing anymore? Like, is it a thing? Because, honestly, I don't even see nobody with no hickeys anymore. Um, Yeah, y'all. So, that's all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope if I didn't expose myself enough for y'all, drop some comments down below. Give me some ideas, some questions, you know, to expose myself more. So I know people like being nosy and stuff. Um, and about that little story time about me being catfished and the other story time, like I said, if you want me to, you know, tell you about it, let me know and I'll do that for y'all. But yeah, y'all, if you're new here, like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tell your mom, tell your dad, your sister, your grandmother, your brother, your auntie, your uncle, your anybody. Tell any and everybody to come subscribe to my channel and join the gang. Because why? Because it's me. Duh. No, but for real. Like I always say, if y'all have any other suggestions for videos, let me know down below. If you guys have anything you guys want me to do or talk about any of that, just let me know down below. And I will get to that. I will definitely get to that. But y'all, did I expose myself enough? Like, did I give y'all enough dirty laundry or no? No? Alright, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!